All right, you guys, so obviously the channel is primarily heavy metal stuff, but occasionally I will throw in a random video here and there, and today I just feel like showing my WWE VHS tape collection. It's all old pay-per-views from 94 to 2004. Um, pretty much like the best 10-year run that WWE had, or WWF slash WWE. I'll call it WWE because that's what they go by now. But uh, personally, I'd probably say 96 to 2006 is what I'd pick. But this is close enough, and this shirt I'm wearing here is a WrestleMania 2017 shirt, WrestleMania 33. I got to go to it. Very cool experience. Um, anyone that's a wrestling fan, if you get a chance to go, I highly recommend it. This one, I think, was a pretty good WrestleMania. The Hardy Boys made a surprise return, which was really cool to see. Seth Rollins had a match against um, Triple H. Uh, what else we had? There was um, Brock Lesnar against Goldberg, Roman Reigns against Undertaker. AJ Styles against Shane McMahon, so a lot of cool matches, it was very fun, but uh, yeah, and also with wrestling, kind of like metal, I like some like smaller stuff, more, I don't know if I'd say obscure, but smaller leagues like New Japan Pro Wrestling, Ring of Honor, uh, TNA Impact, which goes by Impact Wrestling right now, and there's that new league, AEW, All Elite Wrestling, which just got started up with a, got a lot of guys from like New Japan, which like the Young, Bu young Bucks, which is um, Nick Jackson, and Matt Jackson, Kenny Omega, who is amazing, one of the best wrestlers like on the planet right now, Cody Rhodes, um, John Moxley, who was known as Dean Ambrose in WWE, is in that league right now. Um, Gold Dust went over there, does some stuff with them. So and people think Matt Hardy is going to go because it looks like he's done in WWE for now, at least. People think he's going to go over to AEW. But I will get into showing some of these. Uh, yeah, I'll just go through, maybe say a couple matches from, from each one. But the first one I have is WrestleMania 10, which is from 1994. And, of course, the most famous match from this one is Shawn Michaels against Razor Ramon for the Intercontinental Championship. Razor Ramon won. Uh, Owen Hart and Bret Hart had a match. Bret Hart had another match against Yokozuna. But, uh, yeah, overall, pretty good WrestleMania. WrestleMania 10, 1994. Set those down there, and then next up, I've got WrestleMania 13. The exact date on this one, on, with this one, is March 23rd, 1997. Just the back. Um, looking at some of these matches, you got Bret Hart against Stone Cold Steve Austin, Vader against The Rock, um, Sid, Sid Vicious, who was going by the name Psycho Sid at the time, I think, against Undertaker. So some more good matches there. That one. Next up, I've got Judgment Day. This one is from 2000. See Undertaker there. Undertaker returns. In the back. Uh, some of the matches on here. The Rock against Triple H. Shane McMahon against Big Show. Road Dogg and X-Pac against the Dudley Boys. Chris Benoit against Chris Jericho. So, just a lot of really cool stuff. Most of these, like, late 90s, early to mid-2000s. Pay-per-views, all pretty stacked. Um, fully loaded. You see on the front there, this is from 2000, the year 2000 also. You've got The Rock, Undertaker, Triple H. So, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, you see the back. Uh, the Rock against Chris Benoit. Triple H against Chris Jericho in a last man standing match. Undertaker against Kurt Angle. So, another one that has several really good matches. And then next up is going to be this Royal, R Royal Rumble. This is from the year 2001. See those guys on the front there. And then here is the back. Uh, let's see what some of these matches were. we got Kurt Angle against Triple H. Benoit against Jericho. Edge and Christian against the Dudley Boys. And then, of course, the 30-man Royal Rumble, which on the cover here are some of the bigger names. There is um, The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kurt Angle. Kane, Undertaker, Chris Jericho, Rikishi. So yeah, just a lot of really cool dudes. Old school wrestlers there. Uh, Judgment Day, another one. This one is from 2001. You see Triple H and um, Stone Cold Steve Austin there in the front. There's the back. Uh, Triple H against Kane, Stone Cold against The Undertaker, Benoit versus Kurt Angle. Rhino, Big Show against uh, and Test. That's a triple threat match. Rhino, Big Show, and Test. Um, Rikishi and William Regal. So yeah, just another really cool pay-per-view. 
is an Unforgiven. This one is from 2001. See uh, Stone Cold on the front there. Here's the back. Some of these matches, Stone Cold against Kurt Angle. A, what is this, a handicap match? The Rock, Booker T. Uh, the Rock against Booker T and Shane McMahon. Edge against Christian. Rob Van Dam versus uh, Chris Jericho. So yeah, a lot more great matches. Tons of great wrestlers there. <clears throat> Next up is going to be another Royal Rumble. This one's just from uh, 2002. You see the Rock's like shadow there on the front. Here's the back. Uh, some of these matches. Let's see what we got. Vince McMahon against Ric Flair in a street fight, which is hilarious. Chris Jericho against The Rock, Edge and versus William Regal, Trish Stratus against Jazz. So, uh, really cool stuff. <clears throat> There's a King of the Ring. This is uh, from 2002. You got Triple H, The Rock, and Undertaker. And on the back, you see Brock Lesnar. This is right around the time when he first came into WWE, 2002. Um, Undertaker against Triple H, Hollywood Hulk, Hulk Hogan against Kurt Angle, um, Rob Van Dam against Brock Lesnar, Trish Stratus against Molly Holly, Ric Flair against Eddie Guerrero. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff with this. And uh, I haven't said this yet, but a lot of these like pay-per-views aren't around anymore, like No Mercy and Judgment Day and stuff. Here's No Mercy right here. <clears throat> In the back, this is from 2002 also. Uh, some of these matches, let's see, Brock Lesnar against Undertaker, Triple H against Kane, um, Trish Stratus against Victoria, Rob Van Dam against Ric Flair. So again, tons of cool stuff if you're a wrestling fan. No mercy. Here's going to be another WrestleMania. This one is from 2003. You see Hulk Hogan and Vince McMahon on the front there back some of these matches you got hulk hogan against mcmahon as i said uh stone cold against the rock kurt angle against brock lesnar triple h versus booker t Shawn michaels against chris jericho so really stacked lineup card here Shawn michaels if i was going to pick one wrestler that's my favorite would probably go with him awesome freaking wrestler um undertaker and nathan jones against big show and a train so yeah really really good wrestlemania 2003 WrestleMania 19. <clears throat> Here's Bad Blood. This is another pay-per-view that is not around anymore. You see Kevin Nash and uh, Triple H there on the front. This is from 2003, I think. Yeah, 2003. Back. Uh, some of these matches, there was Triple H against Kevin Nash, of course. Um, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin against Eric Bischoff. Shawn Michaels against Ric Flair. Goldberg against Chris Jericho. A uh, tag team match with Rob Van Dam and Kane against a lot of resistance. So, and Chris Jericho against Booker T. A lot of really cool stuff again. With all, all these pay-per-views are pretty much really good. Um, got three more here. It's going to be Royal Rumble. It's got John Cena on the front there. Early to mid-2000s, John Cena was pretty cool with his uh, Thugonomics thing he did. This is from 2004. Uh, some of these matches, Triple H against Shawn Michaels, Lesnar against Hardcore Holly, uh, Eddie Guerrero against Chavo Guerrero. So yeah, another cool one. And here's another Judgment Day. You got Undertaker on the front. I think this is a really cool cover there. Great artwork from 2004 as well. <clears throat> some of these matches, Undertaker against Booker T, Eddie Guerrero versus JBL, uh, John Bradshaw Layfield. Uh, let's see what we got here. Rob Van Dam and Rey Mysterio against the Dudley Boys. Um, so yeah, some more really cool stuff there. And last but not least, I have Bad Blood from 2004. You see uh, Triple H and Shawn Michaels. They had a Hell in a Cell match with this one. They had a rivalry going back around this time. Really good stuff. With this one, we've got Benoit against Kane, Michaels against uh, Triple H, Randy Orton versus Shelton Benjamin, who both of those guys are still in WWE right now. If anybody who used to watch doesn't watch anymore, they are still around. Um, yeah, Eugene against Jonathan Coachman, Jericho against Tyson Tomko. 
lot of resistance against Chris Benoit on Edge. And Edge just came back, which is really cool because he had to retire in like 2011, I think, because of a neck injury. He's been rehabbing and stuff. Was able to come back. He came back at the Royal Rumble a couple weeks, maybe a month ago or whatever it was. And what it's looking like is going to be... It's, it's looking like it's going to be uh, Randy Orton against Edge at WrestleMania this year. So that should be pretty cool. But uh, some of my favorite wrestlers, as I said, I'd probably say like Shawn Michaels, uh, Jeff Hardy, if anybody's noticed this thing I do. Like at the end of the videos, that's like a Jeff Hardy reference. He does that before he does his like swanton bombs, which Jeff Hardy's like the most insane person in wrestling history. Probably just the amount of like ridiculous jumps and stuff he's done. It's surprising he can still walk. But... Um, some modern day guys I like, AJ Styles, Kenny Omega, which I mean, both of those guys have been around for like 15 years now, but those guys are both really cool. And then some older guys, of course, Triple H, Stone Cold, The Rock, Rob Van Dam, all really cool. But uh, yeah, I'm a big wrestling fan, just felt like showing that stuff. Um, if any of you guys are wrestling fans or girls, you know, you can give me some of your favorite wrestlers in the comments. But I say my top two for sure, or my top three for sure, are um, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and Jeff Hardy. Those three guys, my all-time favorites. But until next time, whatever video I do, thank you for watching.